In Rebirth 2 of Radiant Dawn, we ascend the tower and encounter the Black Knight, whose identity is no longer a surprise to anyone anymore because they probably got spoiled directly by Fire Emblem heroes. Three years ago, Zelgius killed Ike's father to see if he had surpassed his former master in swordplay. However, he was disappointed by how easily he won, so he went through a convoluted multi-year process to develop Ike into a powerful swordsman for a greater challenge in a similar way to how I play Fire Emblem in convoluted ways to make the game more difficult for myself. Zelgius creates a barrier to ensure that his fight with Ike is one on one. And Lavelle, Zelgius' biggest fan from Part 3, shows up on the other side to face the rest of her army. The goal of this map is to defeat the Black Knight, which can only be done by Ike, but it's honestly rather easy and quick to do. But if you go too fast, you will not be able to defeat Laveo for the Wishblade, which is the strongest 1-2 range lance in the game. Thus, Ike begins his climactic duel with the Black Knight by putting on a pair of boots and running around like a goddamn clown, continually staying out of the Black Knight's reach to drag out the fight. There are an incredible number of enemies on this map, though only 32 of them start on the field, and 91 arrive over time as reinforcements. This this map is very open and has little terrain, making it difficult to funnel XP, so fighting all the reinforcements is more trouble than it's worth. I open the map by letting the enemies approach and then unleash a disgusting amount of triangle attacks to repeatedly one-shot and utterly wipe out the first wave of foes. With this excellent action economy, I'm able to outpace most of the reinforcements and push down the left side, allowing me to dive the boss rather quickly. Laveo is a trickier boss than most because of his 1-2 range wishblade, resolve, and impale skills. Resolve can drastically and suddenly boosts his speed, bringing him out of doubling thresholds mid-combat, and Impale is a potentially lethal 4 times damage multiplier skill. This can be avoided by using Nihil to disable his skills, but I decided to handle it by killing him in one hit. To do this, I set up a triangle attack with Oscar, Rolf, and Boyd. The Three Brothers triangle attack is a bit different from the Pegasus Knight triangle attack because it has different rules of activation. Instead of only being activatable at melee range, it can be used as long as all three of the brothers are in range with their bows or crossbows, and two are on the same row or column. Rolf, as a marksman, has an additional trait where he can attack with bows from 3 range with reduced accuracy. But the trick is, he can also triangle attack from this extended range, allowing him to ignore the distance penalty and land a 100% accuracy guaranteed critical hit from outside of normal counter attack distance. With cap strength and the powerful double bow obtained in the previous map, Rolf is able to one-shot Laveo with absolutely no risk or even a chance for failure. Once Laveo dies, we get the Wishblade, but the map doesn't end. I continue sweeping up as many enemies as I can, but the reinforcements start getting a little hectic, so I decided to wrap things up. I have Ike stop running around as if this were a Looney Tunes cartoon, so we can have the ultimate duel against Zelgius, a battle for the ages between the Holy Swords Ragno and Alandite, which is not what happens because the Black Knight is actually weak to armor slaying weapons now. This fight is less of an honorable duel and more of a Denny's parking lot brawl, as Ike gives the Black Knight an undignified end by beating him to death with a hammer that he got on sale at Home Depot.